Florida defeats Richmond 87 to 80 to move to 500 on the year. Two wins, two losses. Now joined by Cam Newbauer, Haley Lorenzen, and Funda Nakasoglu. Before we get to Cam, Haley and Funda, first we'll start with Funda. How's the ankle doing? I know you turned it in that second half. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I think it was just the initial shock at the time, but I'm just going to try to get uh, treatment and get some recovery in and hopefully be at, on the court again tomorrow. And talking with Cam before the game, we mentioned how aggressive you've been slashing to the bucket against Florida State, but that outside shot wasn't there yet. Tonight, 7 of 9 from 3. What was the, what was the difference from the outside? Um, I think I just, uh, you know, got what they gave me. Um, instead of driving, maybe they played me more for the drive, so I just got great passes from my teammates. Um, we worked the ball around and through the offense I just got those shots so I actually give credit to you know my teammates and coaches for setting me up for those. Well you're the true point guard on this team what kind of rhythm do you think this team had offensively? I think uh, especially the second half we came out and ran what we need to run and we were just you know the Florida Gators and we did what was needed and um, I think that's what showed you know in our set line. Well Haley double double for you 14 points 10 rebounds what was the success for you on the inside? Honestly, just controlling what I could control and not worrying about anything else and just posting really hard and my teammates fed me the ball a lot, which was really nice and I knew when to kick it out and I could hear them, you know, specifically I remember an instance I just could hear Funda's voice clear as day and it was just a perfect skip pass and she nailed the three and it was, it was a great experience to have that and have that feeling and that happened constantly throughout the game. And I think for rebounding wise, I just had a real passion for it and I was trying to get everybody to get, you know, a fire in them about rebounding because it's been a real emphasis emphasis for us throughout the entire year and I think that it's just really important that we continue to emphasize that going on throughout. And how dangerous is this front court because it can stretch the floor? George Thomas had a three point made, you can shoot the three and Bowling can shoot the three. What kind of dynamic does that give this team? You know, I think it just gives our team um, to be able to spread the floor, just like you said, and be able to open stuff up for maybe more drives for Funda or Drea or to Delisha as well. And I think that the great thing about us is that we're not, like, our whole team is not selfish. I mean, we had nine assists going into the first, uh, going into halftime. And so I think um, with our team, it's more about um, just sharing the ball and, you know, we're going to get each other good shots if we trust the offense and work it through. Well, Kim, how do you think? this team handle the backcourt pressure that Richmond threw your way, especially with Funda going out in the second half. How do you think they were able to adjust? I think we took care of it, but uh, we can always be better. But it's good for us to have game-like situations like that experience. You know, we could have called timeouts and advanced the ball under a minute every time, but did not want to do that, told the players that we need this experience. We need to feel the pressure and learn how to be poised and play through it. And I think and we did some different things that we haven't done before, so I thought we did a good job taking care of that. Just got to pivot a little stronger and cut a little faster. How about the effort from the starting five overall, all starters in double figures tonight? Yeah, you know, we preach we over me, giving up a good shot for a great shot. I think we did a good job of, of finding those, those better shots. First half kind of forced some shots here or there, and we talked about that at halftime, the adjustment being let's take our shots and let's stick with the plan. I think second half we were a little more patient, had some longer possessions, got some really good looks inside, some really good post touches. And then through that, we got some offensive rebound opportunities because we knew where our shots would be coming from. Coach, you had a chance to take a quick look at Stetson. They played the game before ours, and we'll face them tomorrow. What do you see from Stetson? Very good, very well-coached team. Um, you know, a couple hours down the road from us, so we know this is a big deal for them to be playing University of Florida, some bragging rights in the state. Um, Lynn has done a heck of a job in her tenure there. Uh, going to do a lot of things offensively that can give us problems because they move so well without the ball in their hands. Do a very good job sharing the ball, playing together. Got some good size, some really good active guards as well. Um, so we've got to celebrate this you know, quickly and then start game prep immediately tonight, preparing for Stetson. Okay. Thanks for the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Gators. Go Gators.